Hi, I'm Kevin with Craft Gardens. Today we're going to talk about how to care for your bromeliad gasmania. Now, when you receive your gasmania, they should already be in a nice bloom state like the one you see here in front of me. Now, you should treat these kind of like a cut flower. Is put these, go ahead and put these anywhere you want to inside your home. Dark, light, doesn't really matter because eventually these flowers are going to fade and uh, you're going to want to discard this, uh, the main plant anyway, and, and, and later on you can plant them outside. But as far as light conditions, don't put them in full sun, but leave them uh, on your patio or in your home and enjoy this for eight to 12 weeks. How I like to water these plants is I first pick them up and feel them, and if they feel heavy, that means they probably have enough water. You can touch the surface of the plant, of the, of the root ball, and if it feels moist and wet, and it feels heavy, it probably has water. If it's light, go ahead and water it thoroughly and let it drain, don't let it sit in water. Now you can also add water, what we call, to the cup of the plant, which is where the, in nature, and it rains, water collects in there. You just don't want it to get stagnant and smelly in there, so you really don't have to water inside this cup, but if you want to splash some water in there, the plant's sure gonna enjoy it. What you don't want to do also is you don't want to really get water on the flowering part of the plant, which is up here. It just makes it bloom out faster. So don't ever water on the top, water down in the cup or in the soil. Now as far as fertilizing bromeliads, these are very sensitive to any kind of a metal substance like copper or boron. So you want to try and find a, a fertilizer that doesn't carry those type of metal elements in it. And they also do not want to be uh, uh, fed heavily. So when you do make a liquid uh, solution to water your bromeliads, a very, very low rate, and you can water it, you can, every time you water it, this very low rate can be added to your plant. You can, a lot of the, a lot of the nutrients are, are absorbed inside, again, this, this cup of, of the bromeliad. Bromeliads are a little sensitive to the, to the cold weather. So these plants you want to keep above 50 degrees. Their ideal temperature is around 70. They also don't want to be very hot either. So you want to keep somewhere between um, around 70 and 80 degrees would be the ideal temperature for these plants. Now, for more information on the bromeliads, you can go to Craft Garden's channel on YouTube. And remember, these plants are clean air machines so you can breathe easy.